The Xerox Iridesc Production Press combines the value of highly automated, agile digital production with exceptional image quality and jaw-dropping embellishment effects, making it easier to unleash new potential with print and achieve remarkably brilliant results. Iridesc's specialty dry inks can be used to amplify photography in a wide variety of ways. In this video, we'll show you effects using a metallic ink, clear and white. In the first example, we'll use silver and clear to add some dimension and pop to this city photo. Let's start with our original CMYK image and think about how to best enhance it with specialty inks. It is helpful to consider the order of the inks in the press, which your print provider can help you understand, then dissect the image. In this case, we're going to add depth by including a silver layer under the city background. We'll leave the cabs and clock CMYK and hit them with a layer of clear to add extra shine. First, we'll create our selection of the cabs and clock, then save it. After that, duplicate the original layer and call it underscore CMYK cabs. Let's load the selection and invert it to select the background, then delete the background from that layer. Next, we'll take our original layer and rename it Background No Cabs. Using the cab selection, delete the cabs and clock from this layer. Now it's time to save out each layer as its own PSD file so it holds the transparency. Label one underscore CMYK underscore cabs dot PSD. And one underscore CMYK underscore background dot PSD. While we are still in Photoshop, we're going to create our clear cabs and clock asset. We want the clear to perfectly mimic the shapes of each cab and the clock so using our Photoshop selections is ideal. We'll open the PSD file we just saved as underscore CMYK underscore cabs, then do a save as to underscore clear dot EPS. We'll go to image, mode, grayscale. Then we'll load our cab selection and go to Edit, Fill, 100% Black. Next, we'll go to Image, Mode, Duotone. Under Type, select Monotone. Double-click the swatch and make it 100% magenta. Name the ink Clear with a capital C. Click OK and Save. Last but not least, we need to create our silver base layer. We'll start with the clear file and do a save as to underscore silver.eps. Then we'll go back to image, mode, duotone, and double click on the ink swatch, then color libraries. We'll select Pantone 877 to get a good representation of silver. We'll rename to silver with a capital S so the press recognizes the spot color. Next, we'll select all and go to Edit, Fill, 100% Black to create a flood of silver on the layer. Then, go to Select, Load the cab selection, delete the cabs and clock from the layer, and save. Finally, we need to assemble all these great assets in InDesign. We'll start by creating our layers. First, silver as the underlay, then CMYK, and clear on top as an overlay. To make things easy and keep the positioning of our image the same, we'll copy and paste the CMYK file in place onto the silver layer. We'll relink this file to the underscore silver.eps file on the silver layer.
Next, on the CMYK layer, we'll relink the pasted image with the underscore CMYK background file. We'll select that image, then go to the Effects palette and multiply so the inks blend on press. Paste in place again on the CMYK layer and relink the file to CMYK underscore cabs. We are intentionally not going to multiply this image so the CMYK prints cleanly without the metallic effect. Lastly, we will set up our clear asset. Copy and paste in place again on the clear layer. We'll relink this to our underscore clear.eps file. Then we'll select that image and multiply it under Effects. This ensures it prints correctly. Another way to think about photo enhancements is to print an image using a specialty dry ink by itself. Here, we are going to enhance this grayscale suit image by printing it in white ink on a black stock. This effect is incredibly easy to achieve. Let's start by opening our image in Adobe Photoshop. First, we'll invert the image. Go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. Next, go to Image, Mode, Duotone. Double-click on the ink swatch and make it 100% cyan, so you can see where the white ink will be applied. Rename the swatch to white with a capital W, so the press recognizes the spot color. Click OK and save. Now we'll assemble our layout in Adobe InDesign. In this case, we only need one layer since it is a one-color job. Rename the layer to white. We'll import our image to that layer. Let's add some text to the design. We'll make it the spot white we have defined in our swatch palette. That's it. When a file is ready to be exported as a PDF, there are specific settings that need to be checked. Start by going to File, Adobe PDF Presets, and select the Press Quality setting. Name your file and click Save. Under General Settings, it's important to make sure we're exporting both visible and printable layers. On the Compression tab, ensure all image types are set to Do Not Downsample. And under Output, there should be No Color Conversion and the Profile Inclusion policy should be set to include all RGB and tagged sources. Lastly, under Advanced, make sure to note subset fonts when the percent of characters used is less than 100%. Be sure to review the Iridesc Design and File Preparation Guide for more ideas, tips and detailed instructions on how to use the Xerox Iridesc Production Press to unleash more high-value WOW per page for all your digital jobs. Now that's brilliant. Visit Xerox.com to learn more.